Hello everyone, and welcome to the fifth Bloboverse devlog. Let's get right into it, and we'll get started with the world generator. The first thing to note is that even though we have just the grass tile for now, the world generator does consider biomes, and you're going to see that this does make the world generation a lot less random. At the moment, the biomes considered are the forest, the grove, the shrublands, the prairie, and finally, the steppes. Certain animals can only be found in certain biomes. For example, you will only see the buffalo spawn in the prairies or the steppes. I've also made some optimizations to Bloboverse. If you zoom out, you're going to notice that the flora, which is the grass and the flowers, start to fade out. After a couple seconds, Bloboverse will automatically zoom you in a little bit. Additionally, I've made the islands more precise, which means that animals can come closer to the shoreline. This makes it a lot more obvious that they're having a drink. And what's more, the optimizations allow me to zoom way out. For example, to take a snapshot of the whole world. I've also added a couple debugging tools. For example, we can visualize the site radius. The outermost red ring represents a site radius of 1000, the yellow ring represents 500, and the innermost ring just 100 pixels in radius. Then we have the region tool, which allows me to visualize every single region in Bloboverse and what it contains inside. The hitbox tool allows me to visualize the collision box. Only stationary entities get a collision box. This means things like shrubs, rocks, trees, and structures. Then we have the info tool. It gives us a sneak peek inside their brain, as well as their HP, hunger, thirst, that kind of stuff. Last up, we have the pathfinder tool, and this allows me to visualize the trajectory of entities and how they're going to get to their destination. I mean, look at this guy. What is he doing? Alright, now let's take a look at the new animations. We've got a couple to look at. Here we've got the death animation. And we've even got one for trees. And also for the bushes. Another animation change is that just before trees drop an apple or shrubs launch a berry, they're just going to shake a little bit. Now let's take a look at another important update. I really wanted Bloboverse to have that seamless feel to it. So I decided to make the world wrap around. If you scroll through the edges of the map, you're actually going to end up on the other side. Now let's talk about another feature. Most of you probably remember from the older versions of Bloboverse that you had an option to speed the game up. Well, this version is no exception. But of course, I couldn't just leave it at triple speed. No, I had to take it to 10x speed. And then, naturally, a hundred times speed. And due to the optimizations that I've put into the game, you can see that it is still actually running. And that's incredible. At 100 times the speed, we are currently running at around 30 FPS.
Actually, we can even slow the world down and view it in slow motion. And that's all for this devlog. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I really appreciate your support. And I think for the rest of this video, I'll just show off the world generator and explore a little bit. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.